Let's make a gumball machine inspired by the artist Wayne Tebow. Wayne Tebow is an American painter who loves to paint desserts. He painted most of his work in the 1950s and 1960s. That's about 60 years ago. What do you notice about his paintings? Wayne Tebow focused on using light and shadow in his paintings to make them look real. Where is the shadow in this painting? And where is the light? And how can you tell? Now let's learn more about the life and art of Wayne Tebow. Wayne Tebow is an American painter known for his colorful landscapes and arrangement of common objects such as lipsticks, paint cans, and his most popular paintings, candies and desserts. Take a look at some of his amazing paintings of sweet treats, like ice cream, candy, donuts, pies, and cakes. Wayne Tebow is still living today. He celebrated his 100th birthday on November 15th of 2020. He was born in Mesa, Arizona in 1920 and now lives in Long Beach, California. He is considered a pop artist because the subjects in his work are popular things. And pop art is short for popular art. I mean, who doesn't like candy and desserts? Before he was known as a pop artist, Wayne Tebow had an internship with Walt Disney in 1936 when he was only 16 years old. He got to draw some of the Disney characters that we know today. He worked there before he painted these famous sweet treat paintings that we will be inspired by for our gumball machine project. Now that we've learned about Wayne Tebow, let's review the directions for how to start our gumball project today. For your supplies today, we'll be using a piece of paper, we'll need a pencil, a black Sharpie to outline with, and then we also have a gumball machine drawing guide, which you can use to help you with the directions. First, we'll start by following along with the directions to draw your own gumball machine with pencil. Then, draw your machine at least half full with overlapping gumballs. Notice how in my picture, the gumballs are not all complete circles. That's because some of the gumballs are behind the ones in the front. So we're going to work on overlapping today in our drawing. Then after you finish, you can outline your drawing with a black Sharpie. Double outline the edges to make them look even bolder and stand out more. Okay, artist, let's go ahead and watch our directions. So for your supplies, you'll need your piece of paper with a circle traced on it. You'll need a pencil and a black marker like a Sharpie for outlining your gumball machine with. So we already have our circle drawn for us. The first thing we're going to do is draw the base of our gumball machine. So we're going to draw two diagonal lines on the sides. Diagonal, remember, is a straight line that goes at an angle. So here's one. So your line is coming out towards the corner and then this one's going to come out towards this corner. Here's the second one. And then we're going to draw a slightly curved line for the bottom of the base. Then on the corners of the bottom, we're going to draw two little curves to make these edges rounded a little bit. So one on each side, and then we're going to draw another curved line for the bottom of the base. So we'll have two curved lines that are going at the same direction. Now we can draw some details on the base of our gumball machine. You can draw a little hole at the bottom for the gumball to come out of. So to do that, we're going, we're going to draw a rainbow line or almost like a half circle at the bottom here. So here's one, and then we're going to draw a second one above it. Then you can draw a circle for a gumball that is coming out of the machine. After that, we can draw the part of the machine where you would put your money in. So I'm drawing a square shape, and then I'm going to draw a tall, skinny little rectangle here. That will be where you'd put your coins in. Below that, I'm going to put how much a gumball is. So I'm going to make mine 25 cents. 
How do you write a since sign? You're going to write a letter C and then a line through it. And then the cents would be on the left side. So 25 cents, maybe 50 cents might be another price. Maybe your gumballs are expensive, so it could be a dollar, but then you wouldn't put the cent sign, you would put a dollar sign on the left side. A dollar sign is a letter S with a line through it. So I'm doing 25 cents, so there's my cent sign. And then we're going to put a little dial here at the bottom where you would turn to bring your coin into the machine. So I started with a little circle and then two triangles on the sides. I'm also going to add another curved line across the top of the base. It just kind of follows the shape of the circle and then two little curves on the side to give it a rounded edge. Now we need to draw some details on the top of our gumball machine. I'm going to draw a rod down into the circle using two straight vertical lines and then a slightly curved line at the top of the gumball machine and then a little rainbow line on top of it. This would be the part that you could take off of the gumball machine and then there'd be an opening and you could refill it with more gumballs. The next thing we're going to do is draw a horizon line behind the gumball machine. So this is the surface that the gumball machine is sitting on. So I'm drawing two lines on each side. Two. So I drew two horizontal lines on each side. The next thing we're going to do is fill our machine with gumballs. You need to fill yours at least halfway with overlapping gumballs. That means that your circles are going to touch each other and bump into each other a little bit. And when you outline, we're going to decide which one is in the front and which one is in the back. Here's how you can do that. So I can start drawing my circles with pencil for my gumballs. And if I want them to overlap, I'll just draw the lines over each other. And then when I outline it later, I can decide what lines I need and which lines I will erase. So I'm just going to continue drawing these circles until I reach about halfway up. And I'm also going to fill in the center so you can just keep on overlapping them. Remember, you will outline the lines that you need later and erase the ones that you don't. And if you want to fill yours up all the way, go for it. Once you finish drawing with pencil, then you can take a black Sharpie and give your drawing an outline. Remember, outline means you're going to go over your pencil lines with another material. So we're using our black Sharpie to outline. And if you don't go over your line exactly, that's okay because you can erase it after and get rid of the pencil lines that you don't need. So I'm going to outline every line here that is in pencil. Now I'm ready to outline my gumballs. And when I do that, I need to decide which ones are in the front and which ones are in the back. So you can start by outlining some gumballs just a little bit spaced out. So I'm outlining the whole circle and I'm spacing them out a little bit as I do this. These ones will be in the front because you can see the entire gumball. Then when you go to outline overlapping ones that are behind these, you can just outline the lines that you need. So like these two, I don't need those extra pencil lines that are there because they are behind the other gumball in the front. So you just need to think about which one's in the front and which one is in the back and which lines you really need to outline and which ones you don't need to outline. And if you're not sure, you can ask for help in this step. Now 
that I finished all my outlining, I can take my eraser and erase all of those extra pencil lines that I don't need. When you're erasing, use the hand you're not erasing with to hold your paper down so that you don't get any wrinkles or crinkles on your paper. Notice that when I do that, I have this L shape. The L shape is the area that is the safety zone for erasing. When I erase inside of my L shape, it doesn't crinkle or wrinkle my paper. If I go outside of it, then I might get a wrinkle on my paper. So make sure you're erasing inside your L shape. Or if you use your left hand, it will be a backwards L and that's okay too. Then you can really see all the overlapping gumballs in my gumball machine. I would suggest also going over the edges of your gumball machine a second time with your black marker so that your lines are a little bit thicker and bolder. And that will make your gumball machine really stand out. So you can do that again by just going over the lines a second time. I would just do this around the outside edge of your gumball machine. Okay, artists, so that's it for day one of our Wayne Tebow gumball machine. I hope you had fun today learning how to draw a gumball machine and learning about the artist Wayne Tebow. I can't wait to see your drawings.